to share a really cool binding technique with you today and I'm using the folder book printables. So you can see here, I've got all my folders cut out and folded in half. And what I'm going to show you is how to get do the safety pin binding using the Seven Gypsies pins. And you have to use these pins because they have to be the pins that don't have the little curl at the bottom. So what you do is you open up the pins, you open them up to about a 90 degree angle like that. Take your file folder or whatever page you're using that's folded in half. You're going to want to punch two holes at the bottom, two holes at the top, about an inch and a quarter apart. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pin and you're going to start from the top hole and you're going to start by weaving, or not weaving, but sticking that needle in there. Then when you go on the inside, you're going to push it up part of the way and you're just going to bend that needle so that it fits through the bottom hole like that. And then you push it in and on the outside, your closure ends up at the top. So then you just slide it down a little bit on the outside of the cover and then you close it. And you're going to do the same thing for the bottom piece. And you can do it through more than one page. It doesn't have to be a single page. So I'm opening the pin up to about a 90 degree angle. Starting from the outside, top hole first, putting it in, stick it in the rest of the way, stick that needle through the bottom hole, and then pull it out the rest of the way and slide it down just a little bit, and then close the pin. All right, so then, when you're doing your covers, you want to make sure you find some ribbon or lace that you like. Um, you can even use folded paper. You're going to pin it to the back cover. So this is a chip cover. I just use brads to pin it back there. And then you're going to weave all your pages. You're going to weave your lace through your pins on all of your pages like this. All right. So once you've done that, pull those tight. And then find your cover. Stick your cover down on there if it's chipboard. Chipboard is a good choice. Pull your ribbons tight and then find out where your holes are going to go. You want this to be really tight. If it's not tight, your book is not going to hold well. So I'm just going to make sure my papers are nice and flat. All right, so I'm pulling tight. And I've got an extra hole on there that I'm going to trim off later, but I'm just measuring where my holes are going to go right now. So I'm going to take a pen and I'm just going to mark where those holes are. And then I'm going to pull the cover off. I'm just going to pierce those holes. You can use um, your crocodile punch if you want to, but I tend to do this because it keeps it nice and tight when you stick your brads through. All right. Now I'm going to take two brads just using some brown ones here. You can use fancier ones if you like. Let's see if I've got some fancier ones to use. Well, it looks like I have plenty, but I don't like those colors. So I'm just gonna use these for now and I can always change them out later, especially if I keep these, op these um, uncovered on the inside cover, which usually I'll cover the inside. So see this area here I usually cover the brads, or I don't line it yet, and then I cover it. All right, so sticking that one through the hole, opening the prongs on the back, and then just close it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess ribbon. you've got your covers on. So this is what the binding ends up looking like and you can slide your pins down to fit so they're all at the same level. You've got some leeway when you put those on there but there's your cool pin binding. Faux wood chipboard covers using Tired Angels kits um, and once again these are seven gypsies pins. I'm just going to show you the file folder printables. So see it's a nice and tight binding. So I haven't done the inside of my folders yet. Um, you can double side print these with any of my filler pages or liner pages that are available on the site. So this is the folder kit. It comes with 18 folder printables. And they look like this. And once you stain this inside or cover it, you can, it'll be nice and pretty instead of that stark white. So I just wanna show you all the little folders here. Super fun. 
do all sorts of things with these. You don't have to use them for a book. You can use them as embellishments in a larger book or on a layout. So I used some of my favorite patterns that you guys might have seen and then some new ones as well. Butterflies, some more damask. And then you've got these fun, grungy, just plain ones that you could print a bunch of and just use those if you wanted to too. So there is the little mini file folder book and I am going to decorate this up some more. Um, if you want to see the finished book, you can check it out on Facebook or my blog at pieceofcraft.blogspot.com. And the link to the printables for the file folder is right down there in the description. And I'm also on Instagram, which is where everyone was asking me to teach this binding technique after I posted it on there. So if you're on Instagram, come find me. I'm Marion Smith Designs. Or you can just ha search the hashtag Marion Smith, and I'm sure you'll find me that way. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like it, and I hope you try it. Bye.